I'm sitting down here in Spain and uh, unfortunately even here sometimes it rains as well uh, so I've decided to make a, uh, a couple of videos um, hopefully the start of a mini series if you like uh, and I want to talk about star hopping um, I've got two go-to telescopes I've had a couple of manual ones as well and uh, yeah the go-to's are great especially for imaging finding stuff that's really faint um, but there's nothing like being able to know your way around the night sky visually. Uh, it helps you to find stuff, um, gives you more interest. So how do you do that? Well, you can use an app. You've seen me demonstrate the Sky Safari app. It's really good. Uh, not everybody likes using an app. Um, not everybody has a phone to use it on. So what I want to do over this is to show you um, how to use something like this, a star atlas, which is a little bit better than a planisphere. Um, it's actually uh, the Cambridge Star Atlas, this one, 4th um, edition, and uh, inside it, it basically has a series of maps and lists of objects of just about every part of the, uh, the night sky. Um, to, use, to use that you'll need a couple of other things. Last, first but not last is a uh, head torch. Um, this one is my Old Faithful, it's a LED lens and what I've done is just stuck some a little red circle over the front of it so it makes a nice red light uh, torch. Um, and the second part that I find extremely useful with the um, Star Atlas is this, a business card with a hole in it. <laughs> yeah, okay. Um, maybe if I bring it in closer it will focus, maybe it won't. Okay, I'm going to have to show you a photograph of that. Um, basically it's just a business card. Um, with a hole cut in it which is equivalent on the map of five degrees. Five degrees is really useful because that's the um, field of view that you normally get in a 9 by 50 finder scope. So what you can see here is I've also um, scaled a uh, degree rule along the, the one side of it. It just happens to be very slightly more than 26 degrees um, in length. So the other thing that's really useful on the star map is a set of these. Um, they're just simple little arrows that you'll uh, be able to buy from any uh, stationery store used on memos and stuff like that to highlight stuff. Uh, on a star atlas, great to point um, the way around. Okay, so what's my thoughts for the, uh, for the mini-series? Well, um, I've taken some photographs, not so many. Going to be taking a lot more if I get some clear skies. Um, and what I want to do is to first of all show you the object that I'm going to take, uh, how to find it and then show you my picture of it at the end. I'll try and keep them as brief as possible, so five minutes max per object. That should build into quite a nice little reference library. So I should say that uh, I've found a lot of this stuff already on YouTube, so you could say I'm plagiarising it. Um, but uh, channels like uh, Eyes on the Sky, really good, Star Hopping, really good, um, yeah they're both useful, they use Stellarium and other programs like that which is, is good, I mean you can see it nicely on the screen um, but what I want to try and do is to give you a more practical example so this would be the equivalent of actually taking a star atlas outside with you at night um, with your head torch on and still being able to find stuff. 